Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to, well I am going to Hudson Valley, upstate New York, just for like a little mini getaway. It's just more so to go somewhere new, just like do like a little refresh. It will only be me, so it is gonna be like a solo trip. Right now it's like 10.30 and I'm running late because I was supposed to leave here at 9.00. Um, I woke up this morning. I don't know if you could tell, but my left eye is swollen. I woke up this morning and it was just completely swollen. Like, I, it was, my eyelid was so heavy. It's getting a little bit better, but this morning I, I freaked out when I <laughs> looked in the mirror. It was like so shocking. Like, I, I was like, wow, of course this would be happening when I am running on a schedule. But it's okay because I really don't have anything planned when I get up there. Um, I just have like brunch planned and I'm just gonna like roam the town. I'm staying in Kingston, New York. And I'm staying in this really nice hotel which I'm very excited about called the Kinsley Hotel. And it's very, very nice and it's like raved about. It's one of like the top um, hotels that you can stay in in um, Hudson Valley. And so I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna go on the road now, but before that, I do wanna show you what I'm wearing. So right now I just have on these leather leggings that I got from Express. Threw these on with my chunky boots, my new chunky boots that I'm so excited to start wearing. They finally came in from H&M. And I just have a button up H&M shirt. Um, and um, an H&M sweater. I want it to be very comfortable because it is kind of like a long drive. Um, it's like two and a half hours. And I'm just gonna throw on my coat and head off. Like, I cannot believe my eye. Nothing that shades cannot, you know, handle. So I'm gonna be wearing these all day because I don't want people to think like, ooh, what happened to her? Let's get on the road. I finally made it after two and a half hours. The drive wasn't that bad at all. It was a very scenic route, which I really love, especially in the fall. The hotel is so cute, like the, the room. I'm gonna show you guys. So here goes my room. I love how it's very minimal. And this is their king standard room, I believe. And this is the TV. Have like a nice little view here very cute and this nook over here and I love the old school um, refrigerator that they have here <sighs> filled with stuff it's really nice with another view 
let's go into the bathroom they have a full-size mirror which i love because most hotels they don't provide that um here's the bathroom it's very standard very nice what i am about to get into right now i am very hungry they have their kingsley restaurant downstairs so i'm about to go hurry up and catch brunch because i am starving I went to go get some lunch and um, the original plan was for me to go downstairs to the Kingsley restaurant but as you can see in the footage um, we actually not we I <laughs> I actually went to Lola's Pizza because um, downstairs they were in between serving as in like they closed down after brunch and they're gonna reopen again at five o'clock for dinner so I kind of missed that so then you know we went to Lola's for lunch it was pretty good I really like the fact that when you go to Lola's place like everything is kind of like content they sit you down and then um, they leave and then they have the QR code you go on the QR code with your phone to look at the menu and then once you look at the menu you actually order from your phone and you pay through your phone like the waiter doesn't come back to get your order you do everything through your phone and then after that I guess it goes to their system when your food is ready they serve you and once you're done like you go back on your phone and you pay including tip and everything and then you just get up and leave now that is like really contactless service right there the food was really good i just got the butternut squash soup and some olives because i didn't want to fool myself up for dinner because i do have um plans on going out to dinner i'm not sure which restaurant i want to try out yet they have a lot of restaurants here guys like a lot of like little cafes restaurants and everything they even have like a soul food spot like a Jamaican restaurant and also um, I came back to the hotel to get my coat because it's getting pretty chilly outside and I'm gonna go back outside to just roam around go into like a few shops and just you know just kind of explore downtown or I think I'm uptown uptown Kingston um, so yeah I'm staying in the same outfit that I had this morning I'll change for dinner and um yeah so let's go look at the shops
I am back at the hotel from exploring a little bit of the neighborhood that I am staying in. They have the cutest shops ever. Every shop I went into, I bought something and that was not the plan at all. <laughs> How cool was that bookstore? That was the coziest bookstore I've ever been. Um, it's called Rough Draft Bar and Books. It has the coziest setting ever. It kind of reminded me of Friends. It offers cider, coffee, pastries, draft beers, and also it has like really, really comfortable seating and like little nooks where you could just you know like cozy up with your you know your apple cider and just drink and read your book for a place that's that small it has a very huge selection of books and it's like very diversified i was really impressed with i did end up buying a book of course i end up buying the traveling while black and it's by oh i do not want to butcher this author's name up so i'm gonna put it the author's name below i'm very excited to read this book because well i'm black and i travel i feel like i could relate to this book very much also i went into this store called river mint finery the aesthetics were like amazing i loved it it was just very simple minimal they have like a selection of clothes like little like candles and uh fragrances and like just like little cute stuff and what i brought from there was this cute little gratitude journal every day it has like a place for you to put uh three things that you are I don't know if it's gonna focus three things that you are grateful for now i don't know if i'm gonna keep this or actually give it as a gift for christmas or buy one again tomorrow before i leave so i could give this and then keep the other one but it was really cute it was only like 16.99 so um i think it's a really cute gift for christmas the holidays are coming so i think this is really really cute so right now i'm just kind of laying low because i am like i just want some time to just kind of like be alone listen to music or watch movies or something like that before i go to dinner i still don't know where i'm gonna go to dinner yet i don't know if i should try out the french restaurant or should just go to the restaurant downstairs i love when hotels have restaurants within the building it just makes life so much easier like so much more comfortable and you know like you could just go grab a bite downstairs oh yeah i'm just gonna go into chill mode and then like maybe an hour and a half or so grab something to eat <sighs> so we'll see I'm heading out to dinner and this is the look that is happening tonight. This is the dress that I got from, where did I get this from? Oh, Misguided. It's like a midi black knit dress. If you follow me on Instagram, I have pictures on this dress already. So I posted two pictures on Instagram for you guys to choose which look I should do tonight. And most of you guys picked the dress that I got from Naked with the slit, but I'm cold, so <laughs> this is more comfortable. I paired it off with these knit booties that I got from Just Fab. I love these boots. I love these boots. I love these boots. I love these boots. Look at that. Ooh, I love them. I still don't know where I'm going for dinner. I think I really want to try out that French restaurant. I'm gonna go and check the menu first and then see if there's anything that I am interested in getting. If not, I'm just gonna go downstairs because the thing is tomorrow I am planning on going to, um, I'm planning on eating brunch downstairs before I leave. So it's like, I don't want to eat from the same restaurant 
again when there's like another restaurant I can try. Let me show you guys my makeup in a better lighting. This is my makeup in a better lighting. I do not know how to do makeup. I literally always do the basics. Some foundation, do my eyebrows, mascara. I just started to use blush. I'm kind of proud of myself that I know how to use blush now. And just some lipstick. It doesn't even seem like I have any makeup on, but I do. We are ready to go. I am back from a wonderful, wonderful dinner. I actually ended up going to the French restaurant, Le Canal Ocean. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If it's not, I apologize. It was really, really good. The one advice um, I would give to you guys if you decide to check it out, if you're around the area, is definitely make reservations. They get pretty busy like really really busy i went there and um since it was only me they were able to like squeeze me in but it was so so busy and i mean i could tell why because my meal was absolutely amazing the owner is like super nice he was like talking to me like the whole time even though he was like super busy and he was going around making sure everyone you know everyone's food came out okay it's a authentic french restaurant keep that in mind so the waiters that are working there like the staff they're all like french they're all french which i found really refreshing the owner ended up like paying for my drink overall like i am so happy that i actually ended up going and not being lazy and going downstairs I'm about to just take it down and go to sleep i'm tired and then tomorrow wake up have like grab something to eat from downstairs and then um maybe go to like a couple of shops that i didn't get to hit up today like maybe two or three and then after that i'm gonna head on the road see you guys tomorrow hello everyone it is my last day here last night i don't know for some strange reason i did not sleep well and usually when i go on trips like i sleep like a baby but i was just tossing and turning but thank god it's like daylight saving time the clock went back one hour last night so i got an extra hour of sleep but that was weird i am ready i'm ready to check out um packed and everything the restaurant downstairs the kinsley restaurant they are serving brunch starting at 11 which is perfect because i think i'm gonna grab a bite before i head off and go on the road i'm gonna show you guys my little assemble today so right now i'm just wearing my this knit dress and it's actually a summer dress and i threw on a sweater over it see it's like uh like a knit dress and I just put on a sweater over it I think it's a really good way to use as much um, of your summer pieces going into fall sorry about the wrinkles I don't know is it just me or like a lot of hotels these days they don't put an iron in the room so yeah I'm a little bit wrinkled and I threw on my chunky boots now 
The reason why I threw on these chunky boots is one, it's cold outside, and two, I do have plans on going to the Woodbury Common Outlets, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of walking. If that wasn't the case, I would have threw on the boots that I had on last night, my knit boots, my knit sock boots, but since I'm going to be walking, I figured I'll just put these on. Another thing, I feel like I didn't tell you guys enough about this hotel. So, it's called the Kensley Hotel and basically it has five buildings. I'm staying in the main building which is called the Wall Street. So an interesting fact about the building that I'm staying in, it's a former bank on Wall Street. So downstairs like you can see the vault and all of that i'm gonna try to see if i could capture that it's just really weird i'm still not used to like vlogging by myself and just like pulling out a camera in public places but i'm gonna see if i could get you guys a shot of how it looks like and then they have other buildings um the pearl street building the fair street building and the john street building they each kind of have like their own character so that's pretty neat wall street building the main building that i'm staying in is the one that has the kingsley restaurant located right downstairs i definitely recommend you guys checking them out and the thing that I like about this hotel is that a lot of hotels in the Hudson Valley area they have a minimum of two nights so even if you wanted to stay just one night somewhere they won't let you but this hotel lets you stay for one night if you want I don't know if they're gonna change that soon because they were like the only hotel that I found that I was able to just stay one night like Saturday night and be and be done they are kind of strict on the policy of like you checking in at three like i got here like at two and they were like no your room is not done yet which i'm pretty sure it was but hey whatever all right so i'm gonna go downstairs now to check out and to grab something to eat Hey guys, so I'm officially back home. Had to take my contacts off because they were just irritating my eye. But anyway, I did end up stopping at the common outlets. Like I said, I didn't vlog any of that because I was on a mission. I knew what I wanted to get. I just wanted to be in and out. On that note, if you guys are ever thinking about going to the Woodbury Common Outlets on a Sunday, you might want to rethink that. Today was the first day that I've ever been on a Sunday and it was just so Pack. Every store for the most part had a line to get into the store. That was kind of crazy So this is it for my vlog for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it And if you did don't forget to subscribe Thumbs up and leave a little comment below again. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye